Okay, isn't this beautiful? This is uh, right here by where I'm camping. I went on a God, God treat, retreat, is what I call it. So I'm staying two nights here. This is the Nantahala River uh, that is on a Forest Service road. Uh, not along the main highway. And uh, I'm staying right down. If you see a big old rock, matter of fact, if you look through there, way on down there, you'll see a green chair. That's literally, literally where I just grilled out. Just grilled out and uh, ate for the first time in four days. Uh, so I bought me a little, a little portable grill, cooked out on that. And I found this site. Other people have found it as well. But uh, but it's mine for the next 92. Isn't that beautiful? You hear that water running? That water's trucking too, boy. See how fast that water's going? I'm thinking about going across that. But I, I don't really want to get my shoes wet. I thought about putting on my rubber boots. I should have. But I might, I might go across it right over here. Let's see. Maybe I should take my shoes off. Or, they get a little wet. Uh, kind of slippery. These rocks are slippery. But I'm going to take my shoes off and give it a shot. Here we go. Across the rock. There's a forest service road runs all along this Nanahala River. The road's right up there on that right right on top of that hill right there. But enjoy the view, folks. Enjoy the sound of the water. Sometimes you need to just get away and on a God retreat and pray and meditate. So that's what we're doing. I'm thinking about crossing again right here. Let's see what happens. Hey, made it. But I want to um come out here and uh, trout fish. This river goes on down to a paved road. I mean, this this Forest Service road comes off of a paved road called I think it's called Wahala, and uh, the Nantahala runs all along that. And there's trout fishermen all out in the stream. Uh, stopped and talked to one guy, and he said he had caught eight so far. So that's pretty good. 
but I saw, I don't know, eight or ten trout fishermen, maybe more. But it, it, it runs all along the, I think it's Walhalla or something road. And eventually it gets bigger to where they do the, uh, right, right where Highway 19 and Walhalla Road meets is where they start doing the rafting. Well, it's one place, one of many, where they do the rafting and the uh, kayaking. I'm going to try to work my way over some more. I don't know how deep uh, some of these spots are. I, I could step in a big old hole. Look at that right there. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? This is a live by nature video. Well, it ain't really live, but. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna sleep on an air mattress in my Suburban, but the wind is cracked where I can hear this all night. But you look, if you look way down there, you can see a little white cooler with a blue lid and you see my Suburban up on the hill, and that, that's where I'm at. We might try to make a few more spots here. I bet you you could catch some trout right in there where it's kind of calm. Isn't that pretty? Got a little stream coming from over there. Got one over there. Got one right here. Got a couple over there. We are literally on the top of a big rock. Now you look over there, you can see my chair better and my, my little grill. Should have brought my chair with me. I can just sit on this rock, I reckon. Y'all enjoy the sound for a minute or two. You know, we got all these crazy people in the world that say they don't believe in God. And of course, I always ask them, where'd that conscience come from inside of you if there's no God? No creator, no mind behind it all. 
But then you look at these beautiful mountains here. These uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and and and, the, and the, there's a, I've seen several springs that also feed into this. But uh, this is literally coming from way down there. It may be there's no telling how many springs is come into this uh, river. But this is paradise on earth, the best we're going to get, in my opinion. But there's some beautiful places all over this world that I've never seen. But I've seen some mighty beautiful places. I think it says in the scripture in Romans or somewhere, it says they, they can't deny God because of, because of his creation. God is all around us. And uh, I encourage all of y'all, if any of you are watching this that don't know God, seek God and you shall find Him. You can know the God that created this and created you. He loves you. He cares for you. He hates sin. And as, as He sent His Son, uh, Jesus, or uh, Yahshua, uh, paid the price for our sin so we could be reconnected to God. If you repent and turn from your sins, Lay them down. Get into the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and seek and read and be transformed by the renewing of your mind by the Word of God. Become spiritually minded instead of worldly minded, carnally minded. The Apostle Paul says to be carnally minded is death. That means damnation, eternal death. But to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. Yep, there's a lot of fake Christians in America. They they say they're a Christian and they got their mind on uh, booze and honky-tonk music and rock and roll and watching all this garbage on TV and the theaters and smoking marijuana and having sex outside of marriage, looking at pornography. All of those are sins unto death in the Bible. God's Word says, love not this world, neither the things that are in this world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. But whosoever does the will of God shall live forever. Got to do the will of God, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of false preachers out there, uh, most of them are actually, tell you just believe and confess and you, you got your ticket to heaven. But uh, there's more to it than that. That's the easy part. Uh, Jesus said, many will come up to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, we've cast out demons in your name. We've healed the sick in your name. We've done many wonderful works in your name. And he said, I will tell them, depart from me, you workers of sin or iniquity. I never knew you. In other words, when they got into sin, he, he forgot who they were, literally, in the spirit way. That's what Ezekiel God told Ezekiel, tell the righteous man if he continues in his righteous righteousness, he shall live thereby. But if he commits, uh, goes and commits sin, I will remember none of the righteousness which he has committed. In other words, he remembers you no more. Yeah. God's word says the Lord shall return in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not His Word. It's pretty cut and dry, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of scriptures that say we have to, have to do, we have to obey. Yeshua Jesus said, I'm the vine, you are the branch. Any branch in me. Okay? That's a person that's in Christ. Okay? That does not bring forth fruit shall be cut off and cast an unprofitable servant into outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way that leads into the kingdom of heaven, ladies and gentlemen, and few there be that find it. He didn't say it's a raw path like most preachers and, and uh, fake Christians in America think. Uh, you can argue with him all you want, but God made the rules. He's got standards of holiness. Hebrews says, without holiness no man shall see the Lord. 
Yep. So we need to be living holy. Come out of this world and be separate, saith the Lord. And I shall be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and my daughters. Yep. Yeshua said, strive to enter into that narrow and straight gate that leads unto the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Most preachers say you don't have to strive. Once you give your life to Jesus, you don't have to strive. It's only by faith, they tell you. Well, uh, James said faith working alone is dead. So how can it be only by faith? So you got to know all of the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of preachers that pluck scripture out of context. You look right down there real good. That's the side of the mountain. And there's a pool. The water is falling in over there. And I'm standing up here on this rock. But praise the Lord. Jesus said, if you love me, you will, you will keep my commandments in John chapter 14. And I will manifest myself to you. He said, he that has my commandments and keeps them. He it is that loves me. And he should be loved by my Father. And we shall come unto him and make our home in him. Put the Holy Spirit inside of us. He says, I will give you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you surrender it all to him. Okay, not until then. You got to give it all to him. He'll fill you with his Holy Spirit. Give you the most comfort and peace you've ever experienced in your life. And joy unspeakable. That's right. But we, there's some things we do have to do. So don't be deceived by false preachers. Study the scriptures and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you. Here's this rock I'm standing on right here. You see my feet? This is really beautiful. Okay, I reckon I'll end this video and I'm just going to have a seat on this rock and sit here for a while and talk to the Lord. Enjoy His creation. Y'all take care. Love you. And most importantly, God loves you, cares about you. But we, we, we got to lay all the sin down and do things His way. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Don't forget that part and His righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Uh, Yeshua Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest unto your soul. This world ain't going to give you true rest. That's right. Them drugs and marijuana and all the pills from the doctor. Yeah, the money. It's not going to give you true rest, true happiness. Only, only surrendering all to the Lord and getting his Holy Spirit in you and walking in the Spirit to give you true happiness. Y'all take care.